What is up? I am Crypto Mason. In this video, we are going to cover a topic that I think is very important for you to, to think about and to know about, which is what cryptocurrencies are going to survive regulations. Like, for example, if there's harsh regulations put in place or something happens with crypto that allows for governments to step in and all of this stuff, like all of the regulatory stuff that's going to happen, which cryptos are going to survive and what's going to happen to the other ones. Um, that's what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to go over a document from the World Economic Forum, which I'm going to use to make some points. And then we're also going to cover the International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications, because I think I think uh, we're, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Before we start, though, make sure you follow my Twitter, Instagram. Those are where you're going to get like more of me if you want more of me <laughs> like if you want to keep up with with uh more of the things i'm doing that's where you're going to follow I'm sure you check all the links in the description if you would like to join the private uh private discord server we've grown it to like 240 members already uh the link is in the description you all you got to do is become a channel member but let's hop into it no more talking basically in this video i'm going to be using some points from mr charles hoskinson right here his video called Regulation. This is a 34 minute video. Highly recommend you watching this, but I'm gonna cover my thoughts on some of the stuff he says in this video. So what he, he first of all is saying that Dogecoin and everything going on with that is kind of like a disgrace to his hard work. Now I understand this because so many of these smart, smart developers have spent their entire lives or huge chunks of their lives making blockchain applications making cryptocurrencies and all of this making distributed ledger technology all this stuff and then you see something like dogecoin where really it has nothing it really has nothing to go nothing going for it except hype um now it is a good money making opportunity but it really has no innovation no technology like it's just a bitcoin copy so when he sees that i understand um what he's going for but will something like dogecoin disappear if there's regulations now here's the thing here's the thing regulations would come they need to come from some kind of big event of like okay the, the government has to say like okay we need this now we need it implemented now um so dogecoin if elon musk is found like charles says this in his video if elon musk is found to have manipulated the price and all of this stuff um if he's found to be doing that and maybe he doesn't hold any dogecoin but if there's any insider people in that that are found to be just pumping the price up um it might result in something very bad for for crypto charles also says it's it is very bad like the the, rela the regulations that are, are coming are pretty bad. So the main thing that might happen is like Bitcoin would be taxed heavily and all crypto would be taxed heavily. I don't know if you guys have ever visited the 48th page of CoinMarketCap. All of these are not like if you're in any of these, I feel really bad because these will all just be taken out. Like there's no way that some of these will exist. Um after regulations are in place it'll be harder to just make a token that's what i'm assuming nobody can know what know what for sure what's gonna happen but it'll be harder to just make a token and sell it and ico all this weird stuff it'll be harder to do that you'll need more credibility you'll need to register as something maybe even security tokens that's where they make they may come in right there um but let's move into which cryptocurrencies are going to survive the regulations. Of course, let's we're going to we're going to cover this on the International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications um, because these are all the trusted blockchain applications as it says. If we go to their members, look at this, you can get an entire list of all of their members. You, as you can see, let's we're going to go through everything. Ave is right there. So now you see Mark Cuban was going hard on Aave. Um, so Aave must be trusted 
if it's on here like this is this is big stuff that the international uh because it's internet this is for global it's for the whole world as you can see algorand as well algorand that's why i'm heavy heavily invested in algorand if we continue to scroll you can see all they have other partners it's not just cryptos but we've got ave and algorand so far here is cardano um cardano foundation right there um we keep scrolling you can see dash right here there might be some that i'm missing that i've never even heard of um but you saw dash you've got energy web right here which is working with ripple working with ripple right there um let's keep scrolling through what else do we have gnosis is a is a crypto gnosis is a crypto but i'm not invested in that but i like the name if you know what gnosis is um iota right there of course iota foundation keep scrolling look at they've got l'oreal what you got ledger right there lisk is a cryptocurrency lisk is a crypto um, now don't take this as these are the only ones because a lot of the top 100 and top 200 300 400 will survive um i'm just saying like these little pump coins and meme coins they have no business <laughs> having billions of dollars through them i don't know i don't know we're in such a gray area it's a gray landscape um but hopefully that gets cleared up as you can see polymath quant r3 is working with uh, xdc right there anything connected to the government unfortunately or connected to the banks will survive 100 percent or anything connected to major corporations because i've explained this before Google wouldn't put their name on Hedera Hashgraph if it wasn't trustable. They wouldn't say, like somebody had to sit down with Hedera, the company Hedera, um, and they had to say, okay, Google, you wanna be on the governing council? They do a bunch of deals, and now you're on the governing council. Um, so that had to be confirmed by Google. They can't just, you can't just list Google on your site. Um, so anything connected to that will survive for sure. Swift, hopefully this gets replaced by Ripple, of course. Um, Swift is there. What else we got? VeChain right at the bottom. Uh, let me move my camera so you can see it. VeChain right there. So do not get worried if something is not on this list. This is not the only list. As you can see, we've got the, the World Economic Forum right here on a document about crypto. And they actually cover specifically Bitcoin, of course, Ethereum, Ripple, Tezos, cello or cello or kello i don't know how to pronounce that um cello right there litecoin right there zcash right there filecoin right there arweave these are all cryptos so right there the world economic forum is listing certain ones that um are going to probably survive or why would they list them also if we go to the demo trading platform of um we go to the demo trading platform of inx right inx is surviving 100 percent. that's like the one of the best investments i went heavy in inx um we've got zcash right there so they know about it too they know about it too um but we're gonna see it seems like bitcoin will survive bitcoin's okay ethereum will be here forever um xrp of course all ma the majority of these will survive it's just they will be heavily taxed and you've got to watch out for playing around in these tiny little meme coins okay that's all you got to do also we've got this april 20 biden administration reportedly in early stages of readying regulation for bitcoin upcoming regulations could be strict sources told gasparino that gary gensler the new sec chairman is awaiting directives from the treasury department to develop a more so they're they're getting ready they're getting ready and i want to show you really badly right here i want to show you on my twitter you can follow my twitter mason for sleuths right there that's my last name yes i am dutch no i don't speak dutch uh, my grandparents are just dutch um if we go down and you can see right here where is it right here we're gonna watch this TikTok right quick this is why quant will survive because this is a video of gary gensler which is now the sec chairman right oh my i'm getting spammed on telegram hold up um okay yeah who is now the sec chairman he's saying why quant is so important and why it will be used 
Not directly, of course. Indirectly, but let's listen. But why is Quant or QNT one of my favorite coins ever? How about we play this video and let the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, explain? Look how I said that. You like how I said that? It's just obvious. Okay, how about let's just let the chairman of the SEC explain why it's important. Now watch what he says. Interoperability, they don't necessarily work yet with other legacy systems or with each other. The internet, one of the great innovations of the internet, it became interoperable. That, that all of these different websites could kind of speak with each other. You literally explained exactly what Quant is now doing. If you didn't know, they connect all the distributed ledgers together and enable interoperability. But why? It's so clear in your face. It is in your face. In your face, right there. That is now the SEC chairman saying that interoperability between everything is important. Who is doing that? Quant. Who's also doing it? Chainlink. I love Chainlink. I'm, I don't have any Chainlink right now. Um, and then, okay, let's let's go to my actual. Oh yeah, right here. Last clip right here. Basically, this is the chairman again, Gary Gensler. He's gonna say that H bar, or no, he's gonna indirectly say that H bar and the Ripple CBDC private ledger could be used. Listen what he says. System, you need financial sector would say with blockchain. These are real live things that we're going to study later in the semester they say it doesn't have the performance scalability a modern payment system you need to be able to move about a hundred thousand payments a second a modern securities clearing the the depository uh, trust corporation the securities and exchange commission says you do about 30,000 transactions a second, but we need you to scale and your computers and everything have to be resilient to 100,000 transactions a second. 100,000 transactions a second. Bitcoin, you can do about seven transactions a second. Visa currently depends on the, the, the second, does anywhere from 20 to 70,000 a second. Do you see? Do you see? Is right in front of our face. It's right in front of our face. HBAR, we all know, if you research Hashgraph technology, it is capable of up to 250,000 transactions per second and more. Um, also, we've got this, the private ledger right here. This was announced uh, a couple months ago or a month ago. It clearly says right here, transactions can also happen at volumes required by central banks. CBDC uh, private ledger will handle tens of thousands of TPS initially with the potential to scale hundreds of thousands of TPS over time. So this shit is so clear. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the meme coin runs to be over and let's see the utility shine crazy. Like the brightest shine you'll ever see in your life. That's what we're gonna see with the utility, hopefully. It is so stupid seeing things like Dogecoin and all these Dumb ass coins. I don't even want to say their name. Just <laughs> all these coins. I hate seeing that go up. Where's the utility run? Like, can we see the real stuff that's going to be used? Can we see that go crazy? Like, how much is Dogecoin up right now? Let me check. I'm not hating on Dogecoin. Get your money. But like 500% in 30 days. Can we see that with XRP? Why does it have to be on some Dogecoin? Like, Man, but that is going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, hit the post notification bell, click the all button so that you get notified whenever I go live, whenever I post a video, you'll never miss one, never miss important information. Make sure to check out that uh, regulation video from Charles Hoskinson. And that is all I got. Goodbye. Crow, steel, king,